Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter News. Today we have a bunch of amazing topics for you guys such as the newest update from Philip Hercek and Chris Sells about the Flutter and Dart development tools. After that we want to talk about Tim Sneef's news article about the desktop state for Flutter development. Then we want to talk about the new state management solution from Remy Roslet. And last but not least, we want to talk about the Flutter app, Flutter package and the Flutter pen of the week. And now let's get started. Yesterday, the Flutter team released a new update for the Dart and Flutter development tools. Philip Hercek and Chris Sells wrote an article how you can use them with the basics, UI helpers and development tools. Thanks to them, the development experience in Dart and Flutter will increase and will be better than ever. Additionally, Philip Hercek and the Flutter team released this week the first video of the performance series. You will find the video up in the info box and down in the video description below. Tip Sneef released a new article about the newest desktop information for Flutter developers. Windows and Linux will receive now a build mode for release. And this allows Flutter developers to create executables for Windows 64 machines and Linux distributions without a Flutter installation. Besides of the navigation rail widget, there were further improvements for the desktop class experience. For example, the property visual density, which allows controls to adapt their density depending on the platform. He also writes about the Dart FFI and the implementation of it. It has made a huge progress for the performance and also for the feature set to support more and more the different desktop applications. In his article, he also gives an example on how you can create a message box with pure Dart code. The best thing is that it runs now on Win32 and UWP. This will encourage more developers to switch to Flutter and try it out in their desktop environments. Remy Roslet released on the 23rd of June his new package RiverPod. RiverPod is promising that it is close to provider and easy to use, but it gets rid of the limitations. So if you want to check it out, you'll find the link down in the video description below. According to the newest JetBrains ecosystem development update, Flutter has increased its uh, market share by 9% and has reached now the second place right away after React Native with 42%. But this is still an amazing improvement and shows how valuable the Flutter environment is. The package of the week today is the sub package. It allows you to create very nice free parts screens that you can use for onboarding or other things. And we really like the easy implementation and you will find the link down in the video description below. The Flutter app of the week is called Time Capsule and it does exactly this. Who doesn't want to share its memories with a private space of people like your families and friends? For this, Time Capsule allows you to create pictures and send an invitation link for these pictures to your friends and families. You will find the link down in the video description below. One of the last topics of the day is the Flutter Pen of the week. And it is a very small one, but we really like the implementation of this loading spinner. You can see there are multiple uh, icons and you see how they are switching behind. So it is perfect loading spinner for an app. And it looks beautiful, so check it out. You will find it down in the video description below. And now, before I ask you for a subscription and the like button, I have an announcement for in own interest. Tomorrow, for the Flutter Day India, I was invited to have my first speak on the Flutter environment. And this will be how you can skyrocket your performance with background tasks. So I would like to see you there. And on Monday, Machtab has also her first speaker call for Flutter and it will be on the GCDC in Saudi Arabia about the topic the stunning world of animations in Flutter. So do not miss out. We would love to see you there. And now thanks for watching everyone. Do not miss the subscribe button, like the video and see you the next time. See ya guys.